Human bones found yesterday afternoon in Santee do not appear to be connected to the case of a missing Chula Vista mother. A warning, some of the images you're about to see are graphic. The bones were found near a hiking trail near the 1000 block of Summit Avenue in Santee. News 8's David Godfordson spoke to the family of Maya, Maya Millett, who has been missing for almost one month. It's been four weeks and we haven't really heard that much. The family of Maya Millett heard about the human remains found Wednesday afternoon in Santee. News 8 obtained photos of the bones found by two hikers on a dirt trail off Summit Avenue. Because they are skeletal remains, Millett's sister doubts the bones are those of the missing 39-year-old. It's a bone. Um, the body usually doesn't deteriorate that fast. The San Diego Sheriff's Department was back on the scene in Santee Thursday and confirmed to News 8 there is no indication the bones are related to the missing person case. The bottom line is that we don't know where Maya is. Millette, a mother of three, was last seen on January 7th at her home in Chula Vista. Her husband, Larry Millette, had previously cooperated with the investigation, but on Thursday, Chula Vista police issued a statement saying, Maya's husband has retained a lawyer and is no longer fielding questions or requests to help the Chula Vista Police Department find his wife. Police served a search warrant on the house on January 23rd, taking computers from the home as evidence. Detectives also impounded this Lexus SUV with a personalized license plate Melani, which the husband was believed to be driving on Friday, January 8th, the day after Maya Millette was last seen. They left 6.30 in the morning to go to Solana Beach, and they didn't come back till late in the afternoon or Larry Millette told police he drove his four-year-old son to the beach in the Lexus that Friday, according to family members, who also said they tried unsuccessfully all day long on that Friday to reach the husband on his cell phone. News that the husband has retained an attorney came as a surprise to the family. Yeah, at first, when I heard about it, I felt hurt and surprised at the same time. Now, the Millette family has announced on Facebook they're having a uh, peaceful protest tomorrow at Chula Vista Police Headquarters from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And they're also having a vehicle drive by the house where Millette lived and through the neighborhood on Saturday. Carlo? David, have we spoken to the husband recently or to his new attorney? We contacted uh, Larry Millette via text message today. He is not doing interviews, and he wouldn't even identify the name of his retained attorney. All right. An ongoing mystery. David Gofferson reporting live. Thanks, David. Police have made at least one arrest tonight following a shooting that left one person seriously wounded in Claremont this afternoon. Evacuations were ordered in the area near Claremont Mesa Boulevard and Cole Street. It included a preschool. A SWAT team was called in while a police manhunt was underway. Officers shut down the 4300 block of Claremont Mesa Boulevard, fanned out through the neighborhood, and cleared staffers and about a dozen children from nearby Northminster Preschool. Police did manage to chase down a suspect and arrest him. A tough day for students at Cathedral Catholic High School as they returned to class for the first time since a teacher and coach was shot and killed. 37-year-old Mario Fierro taught science and also served as a football coach for the school. He was shot and killed in North Park Monday morning. Police have since arrested 30-year-old Jesse Alvarez, who faces murder charges. Alvarez was the ex-boyfriend of Fierro's fiance. A local debate after the CDC said teachers do not need to be vaccinated to go back into classrooms and that schools can now reopen safely. Some local teachers and teachers unions are pushing back, refusing to return until they get the shot. The San Diego Unified School Board president wants teachers to be vaccinated. He says if teachers could get just one lane of their own at the Petco Park Superstation, it would only take one day to vaccinate enough educators in the district to start reopening. Military families with vaccine concerns got a chance to hear directly from one of the nation's top health experts, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Blue Star Families, an organization dedicated to supporting military families, held a virtual town hall today. The organization says an overwhelming number of military families they surveyed said they would not get the vaccine. 
News 8's Heather Hope has the town hall takeaways and what First Lady Jill Biden had to say. Yes, overwhelmingly, Blue Star Families Research found that many military families were on the fence about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. So leadership called in Dr. Fauci himself and many top military officials to help them make an informed decision. The president and I know that our military families are strong and resilient. Speaking directly to military families tuned in, First Lady Jill Biden made her pitch, encouraging them to get the vaccine when they can. You need to feel confident in the health decisions you make for your family. That's why it's so important for us that you have the direct access to the experts. Extraordinary respect for the Blue Star families. Hoping to dispel myths and concerns over getting the coronavirus vaccine, Dr. Anthony Fauci answered multiple questions for a virtual town hall exclusively for Blue Star or military or veteran families. The decision to decide to administer it was again made by professional career scientists at the FDA. Dr. Fauci said people always ask, how do you know that this will be a safe and effective vaccine and not rushed? Were you reckless? Did you rush? Did you cut corners? And the answer is the speed is completely related to the extraordinary advances in scientific platform technology for vaccines. The Blue Star Family Study showed overwhelming numbers of military families opting not to get the vaccine. They were not sure that they should trust the vaccine. And, and honestly, a majority said they did not think they wanted to get the vaccine at this time. Some military families cited concerns of side effects or having underlying conditions, or was it safe for women who are pregnant? On the contrary, that's more reason why you should get vaccinated. The Department of Defense live streamed the virtual town hall on its website, giving tens of thousands of more military families the opportunity to see it. On it were the acting undersecretary for health and General Mark and Holly Ann Milley, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. We are both committed to the health and well-being of all of you. That's a lot of firepower saying, hey, military families, veteran families, we care about how you're feeling about this and we're going to talk directly to you. Heather Hope, News 8. News 8 takes pride in making sure all perspectives are represented in our coverage. And it was the focus of a panel discussion today on improving media coverage of minorities. The Coronado Public Library hosted the event, and our LaMonica Peters was a panelist. We recorded the full discussion so that you can watch it anytime on CBS8.com.